Are you having trouble getting an advanced mag shear from the vendor? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. There is a new improved method where you don't have to reload the game 30 times. I'm going to show it to you now. This is the most talked about and most requested thing on my channel. Let's get into it. For those that don't know what the mag shear is, it is the most powerful early game accessible weapon that you can just go pick up off the shelf. You can grab two of them, one for your companion and one for yourself. So here's how to do it. As soon as the game, as soon as you get to Constellation at the very start of the game, you tell Sarah that you want to roam on your own for a little while, and that will let you open up the universe and free roam. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to this star system that says Narion, and you want to click on it or whatever it is on controller, and then go to Velo. Then we're going to jump there. And uh, hold on, I got grab drive juice going. No cuts, this is all one recording so people can see exactly how long this takes. There are comments on my channel that said people spent hours doing this and you don't need to spend hours. So when you're at Velo, you're going to want to go to the planet which is called Polvo. And when you're on Polvo, you want to go to Hope Town. Now if you see this here where it says not cleared for landing, all you have to do is wait to be scanned. So we're waiting for the police to scan our ship for contraband. Stolen goods are not contraband. I'm going to select the planet, and then I'm going to just land at Hope Town. There we go. And this is on a level 3 character that just did the tutorial, just did the very start of the game stuff. We told Sarah we're going to go off on our own for a bit, so we didn't start the main story quest. By the way, open your menu at this point while you're landing or before. Go to gameplay. This is super important. Change it to very hard. Make sure that you are on very hard difficulty, because this increases the chance of the advanced mag shears to spawn in. You can always change it back later, but make sure you're not playing on very easy. If you are on very easy, these might never spawn. Alright, we have now landed on Polvo, and we're going to exit the ship. Now we're going to go straight to the mag shears. So here we are at Hope Town. I'm going to run directly forward past this yellow pillar... Uh, you know, kiosk thing, and then I'm just going to go over here. There's the ranger station. We're going to run past that, and on the right side is the best defense store. At this point, without looking at anything on the shelf, don't don't mouse over those two guns on the shelf. Make sure that you keep your head down, like you're, you're scared, you're timid, you're antisocial. You're going to do a quick save. You're also going to, you, you can do a regular save. I'll do a regular save just to show you it doesn't matter. So we're going to look at the guns on the on the counter. We have the mag shear. 11 damage. Boo, boo, boo. This is the new method. Instead of sitting here and loading game and checking the mag shears, which could take 30 tries, pick up the mag shears. It's okay. And then we're just going to load the game now. Now that we've picked up the mag shears and we're loading the game, the game's memory is like, hey, we got to put new mag shears back. Think of it like a, like a movie studio, like, like the director says cut, and then they snap the little thingy, and then they have to put new props on the shelf. And now we have advanced mag shear. It was the first try. And these are 25 physical damage advanced mag shears. If you go to a level 75 zone and this same weapon drops, it will only have 15 max damage. I don't know if these are bugged or if these are beyond advanced uh, or if it double dipped on the advanced modifier, but these are the strongest mag shears in the game bar none. They are the strongest weapons in the game bar none. There's there's no comparison. Now, once you have these actually on the shelf, that's when you would do another quick save. So I'm just going to hit F5 and do a quick save. And then from here, you can finagle them off the shelf in a few ways, which I've shown multiple times in my video. But it's easy to have rank 1 in stealth so you can see a stealth meter. And what you want to do is duck behind this counter. The shopkeeper won't be able to see you. There we go, we're hidden. And we could just yoink that off the shelf easy peasy. The other method is the trash can method. This guy has a trash can. And sometimes he'll get mad if you yoink this. But right now he's not mad. I, I held my use button, my E button on, key, on keyboard. I don't know what it is on Xbox. But you're going to use this to, to kind of scoop it off the shelf. Onto the ground, maybe. Sometimes it bugs out. There we go. We got it on the ground. And you're just going to hockey puck it uh, to the back room where no one can see you. Shut the doors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crouch down so it's a little easier to, to sweep, sweep, sweep. Anyone play Baldi's Basics? All right. So there's an NPC in the way. I'm just going to put this trash can down. Open this door. Everybody, you know, get on the floor, walk the dinosaur, whatever. And we're just going to 
you know, push it in there, push it out of range. This is the no stealth method, okay? Drop the trash can, close the door. All right, door is closed, and then we can yoink the gun without anyone caring. And these weapons, like I said, they are insanely powerful early on. Now, I don't have any ammo, and ammo is quite expensive for these guns. But I also want to share with you, since you're five minutes into the video and you haven't clicked off, you get a reward, that's right. You get a car, and you get- no, I wish I could give out cars. I'm not- I'm not Oprah, I'm not Mr. Beast. But okay, we're gonna do another save and check this out. Normally, these guns are inaccessible because they're in a glass case, but... The best early grenade launcher is actually right here in the corner, the bridger. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to yoink it, and then we're going to quick load. And guess what happens? It's the same thing with the mag shears. This will come back as advanced. So there we go. We yoinked it, we loaded, and now look at this. Look, look, let's see if it did it. Advanced bridger. 307 fizz damage. Now, this is obviously way harder to steal because people are staring at me, you know? So... There's a, there's a few techniques. Also, another weapon, if you if you want to be a pistol pistol guy or girl, whatever. There's there's one right here too. And and this one's a little bit harder. To, that's a razorback. And the cool thing about the razorback, I'm just gonna do a quick save, and then we're just gonna yoink it and then quick load. There we go. And again, this is much faster than loading 30 freaking times. So <laughs> So look look at her stare of disapproval. All right, and there we go. Now we have the advanced razor. Look at that damage. You started the game, and you get a 154 physical damage pistol. Pistols are very powerful. I have a video on my channel that shows just how crazy these things can scale. And the Razorback has a fun passive. When you shoot someone, it catches them, catches them on fire. It's really neat. And people also uh, will treat you like a cowboy. They'll be like, oh, you're a Laredo, you know, fan, and blah, 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 blah. So, again, if you- the, the easiest way is to just yoink these guns, and then run to your ship, go somewhere else, pay the bounty, and then wait a couple weeks, and when you come back, they'll forgive you. They, they won't give a shit. Or you can just wait till NPCs aren't in the store, and then you can use the crouch and steal method. And, uh, you know, because this person's looking at me, I can't steal them. But, uh, you know, assuming I leave and come back, they'll be gone. But those are some amazing starter weapons. Also, don't forget the combat catalog here to increase the range and accuracy of the, uh, the mag shears that you just got. So that's always good. Uh, as far as these other weapons in the cases, I haven't been able to glitch my way to get them. I have tried for hours. I have tried, uh, the- I've tried axe warping. Axe warping is whenever you jump and hold block and you teleport forward. I've tried glitching through the cases, through the walls to get these weapons, and I can't get them, but if you figure out a, a method, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, with that said, enjoy your advanced mag shears, enjoy your advanced bridger, and, um... I have other videos on my channel that show you how to get infinite ammo. It's it's in the thumbnail, so go check that out. There will be a link in the description. Go check out any of those videos. I've got more coming. One to three videos every single day for this game, as long as it's paying the bills. And oh boy, is this game paying the bills. Thank you, Todd. I can finally eat real food again for once in my life. With that said, please like the video. Thank you for 100k subs. And leave a comment because I read every comment. It's your comments that made this video possible. They're, <laughs> the most comments that I've gotten on this game is about the mag shears. Hopefully you enjoy these ultra-powerful weapons. Go check out my other videos if you want to get infinite and free ammo for them. Finally, 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 on the right side of your screen, there's a video that you should absolutely click, and if you don't click it, then your shoelaces are going to come untied in front of a girl that you have a crush on, and she's going to get the ick, and you'll never get to hook up with her. And if you're a girl, well, you get a free pass, because, um, congrats, I guess. I don't know. See you later.